On this episode of Moi TV, I'm going to answer a question I get asked all the time. So now I've got my sexy new headshots, Laura, and I love them, but what do I do with them to make sure I can make money in my business and get the best use from them? If you've always wondered how you get the maximum return on your headshots investment, then this is the episode for you. For the very best in branded headshots, ideas and inspiration, you should subscribe to Moi TV. If you hit the bell, you're gonna be notified every single Friday when a new video comes out. I would love it as well if you come and say hello to me on Instagram. I'm all about the video DMs, so come and say hello. There's a link up here right now for you. Can't wait to talk. If you've always wondered if it's even possible to make the same amount of money back that you spend on headshots, or even make money from them, by the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you everything that you need to know to make this happen. I've had my own headshot photography business for eight years now. Prior to that, I worked in marketing and public relations. So trust me when I tell you, I know how you do it upright to capitalize the most on your headshots investment. Before we plunge right in into everything that you need to do to make money and maximize your headshots investment, I wanna let you know straight out the gate that all of this wonderful advice has been comprised in a very beautiful and easy to follow guide. Believe it or not, it's called How to Maximize Your Headshots Return on Investment. You just head over here, enter your email address, and I will send you a copy over. What is great about this guide, sure, print it off and doodle all over it, but you can just keep it as a PDF and keep returning back to it every six months. And I'm gonna explain why you need to keep doing that every six months further on. So let's dive in. Using your headshots as an identifier tool. In its most basic form, a headshot is designed to make people understand what your face looks like. The main trick to remember here, and this is where a lot of people slip up, is you wanna make sure that you have the exact same headshot across all of your social media profiles and all over online to keep your headshot and your face consistent. Whilst this isn't really creative and super fun for you, it makes it much easier for you to show up in searches when people are looking to network with you online. Always remember, it's about them, and not so much about you. To make the very best use of your headshot, you should go and double check what's on your profile picture for all of your social media platform profiles. I'm talking about Instagram. I'm talking about Facebook, personal, and your business profile. I'm talking about Twitter. I'm talking about Snapchat, YouTube, Pinterest. Then moving into your business, what have you got on your email account software right now? Is that the right headshot? And let's not forget all of that great online software that you use to manage your life and your business, especially the ones with any kind of interactive element to them. ConvertKit or other email software. Trello and Slack or other project management software. Canva, Lightblue, or an equivalent industry-specific CRM, big up to anyone else who rocks it on light blue, Skype, Google, Zoom, everything that you used to have a meeting on, on your website, and inside your phone. How beautiful is it when the person you know face pops up when they ring you? Or if you've just met them and they send you one of those great contact cards that has a picture of their face on it as well. Inching this up a little bit now, let's get into your credibility. Your credibility starts to slip a little bit when you leave that really old headshot just sitting there for ages. Over time, it's gonna start getting a little bit crusty, a little bit out of date, think of it like milk. Inside the guide I just told you about, and we're gonna put another link to it here, you can see how I get you to review every six months and change up your headshots identity across social media and everywhere that you work online. This is really good practice to get the most money out of that collection of headshots that you have, and it's a great way to take advantage of social media engagement. You know you're going to check out on Facebook if your friend just got headshots, so why not take advantage of that and capitalize on it every six months? 
Making you money. Making money from your headshots is actually a lot easier than you think. In my guide, let's do another cheesy plug to my guide. I break this down into three easy categories to follow. Number one, on your products. Now, if you're in a service-based business, there's a good chance that you're jumping on the trend of creating some e-learning. So having pictures of your headshots interspersed in the right way in your e-course means that you're gonna come across a lot more trustworthy and it's just a lot more personable. People can picture who they're learning from. Maybe you've written a wonderful book. It could be an e-book or it could be an actual physical book that you can smell and touch and take into the back with you without worrying about being electrocuted. Either way, you need to have your headshot. It doesn't always have to be on the cover, but you wanna make sure that there is at least one image of you, whether that be on the inlay or on the reverse of your book, so people can get a good sense of who you are and the person behind the book. This one's a little bit left of center, but I love nothing more when I'm buying from an artisan online and I get the products delivered to me and I can see what they look like. So this could be a really subtle picture of them on the label that comes on their clothing, or it could be something clever in the packaging. It really has a personal touch and it positions you as a true expert. Number two is for people who operate in the service-based business. You wanna make sure that your headshots are interspersed correctly in your online course. You wanna make sure that the same headshots are used in the right way to promote your next event. And you can be really strategic to make sure that a picture of your beautiful face shows up next to all of the different ways that you promote your service. Maybe that's in a physical brochure, maybe that's just across your web Website, or maybe it's through your content that you create. Number three, in your lead magnets and your marketing campaigns. Showing up as the real you in all of your promotional work makes everything a lot more personal and people are a lot more likely to trust someone when they can look them in the paper. You can see how I do this in my Headshots Return on Investment Guide, but you're gonna need to download it first to get a look. <laughs> Finally, there's a chance that you might work with an agent. If you speak professionally or you charge a fee to appear within your industry, your agent will thank you over and over again if you can keep your headshots replenished with them so that they have more to work with when they're promoting you. Why don't you comment below and let me know which ones you forgot and they're making you go, oh no! <laughs> Something a lot of people forget to do is to max out the actual photo shoot and this can have a huge return on investment before you even get the final pictures. People are still obsessed with the hashtag BTS or behind the scenes of everyone else's lives. I make a point to make sure that every single one of my photo shoots is its own special kind of viral sensation. You may have seen one of my behind the scenes episodes, link over here right now, or me chatting with a client as soon as we've wrapped on a headshot session. Link to that playlist here. In addition to all of that content creation, I make sure that we get as much social buzz from every single headshot session that we create. This is so that my clients can get as many eyeballs on their photo shoot day as possible. Doing this in the right way can mean you're switching things from taking a whole day out of general day-to-day -day running and away from the office and spending money into the marketing event in your entire calendar. If you're taking a DIY approach to this and you don't have a photographer who's into all of the social media stuff, it's really easy to just capture some great Insta stories of how everything's unfolding on shoot day. In the Fox Force 5 team, we take this up another level by pre-coordinating and organizing everyone on the crew to make sure that we're all posting and sharing stories in the right way so that it all flows together and has maximum effect. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how I do this with my crew, let me know in the comments and I'll whip up an episode for you. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a quick thumbs up. Now before you go anywhere, don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.